Hey, you guys. So, in this video, I'm going to be softly speaking with you as I tap and scratch on your favourite wood table that's been on the channel since the beginning. So I put out the no talking version of this a few months back and I've been wanting to get you a talking version. So this is a voiceover if you didn't know yet. <laughs> um, and I'm going to just talk about a little bit about my trip that I just got back from because I shared a lot with you guys in preparation for the trip. I went to India and you guys were so supportive while I was there and I just put out a lot of videos um, from my time there. So. I thought this might be a nice opportunity to chat with you guys as you listen to the tapping and scratching on your beloved table. This was filmed when I was in the US a couple of months ago, three, maybe a while back, and I absolutely loved these nails. I think they're one of my favourite sets I've ever had. And just for anyone that's newer to the channel or doesn't um, know why this table is so beloved, when I started the channel I always used this table and it's in all my videos from the very beginning. I've moved overseas since, well, for a while back, and so I don't have this table with me any longer, and every time I go back to visit the US, I try to pull it out um, for the closet of my family member's home, I keep it for you guys, and do a video, because it does make some great sounds. As far as my trip to India, um, it was one of the most special trips I've ever taken in my life. It was really meaningful. Um, so I used to live there and I got to teach uh, at a school there in a village in the south of India. And I became very, very close to dance of the students, especially those that lived on the school's campus in a hostel. They're like, they feel like my kids. Some of them feel like sisters and brothers. Some of them just feel like friends. Um, we all have really special relationships and, um, yeah, I taught them when they were quite young. I wasn't that much older than them, but now that, you know, now that we're adults, we realize that <laughs> we're all adults. Um, but at the time, they were so small, <laughs> it felt like there was a bigger age gap. So it was really special to spend time with them and kind of be with them as friends. to film a video at the Taj Mahal, which is in northern India. It was my first time in northern India um, because I lived in the south and I was on the campus of the school that I worked at, 
all the time. I didn't. I wasn't like a, uh, visiting any places or tourists in any way. I really just lived there. So it was fun to go to the Taj Mahal and see a part of India I had not seen before. I did a video tapping on the Taj Mahal and it really was quite spectacular to see in person. It took my breath away actually. Uh, I love to do travel videos for you guys. In the beginning of the channel I always did this like travel to series where I would tap and scratch on items from different countries. So I had like a travel to China video where everything I tapped and scratched on was from China. Uh, if I went on a trip somewhere, uh, for example, um, Actually, a good example is like friends or family members that would come back from different countries, they would bring stuff for me and I could do videos for you guys, um, or friends that were from different countries would give me items for you guys. I've travelled quite a bit so I had a lot of items myself from different countries, but each video was a different country theme. And then when I moved to Egypt and ended up traveling quite a bit in the process here. It's been fun to like take those videos and make them uh, real travel videos. Uh, so I started doing videos tapping and scratching through different countries and I live in Egypt so I did a video tapping and scratching on the pyramids. My best friend lives in France so I did a video tapping on the Eiffel Tower. I did Niagara Falls in Kanda and now we can say we've got the Taj Mahal on the channel too which is really exciting so you can go and check that out if you'd like. I also got to brush the hair of a girl who's got some of the longest hair in the village that I was staying in. Indian women have incredibly long and beautiful hair, often not all of them, but you know, much more than any other country I've ever been to. Their hair is just incredibly long and healthy and yeah, so it was really fun to do a hair combing video with her. I took you guys through a little tour of the village and I've got more videos. I'm going to do like a little haul, tapping and scratching on everything that I purchased or received there to show you a little bit more of the culture and I've got, I've got some videos coming for you guys that I'm really excited about. One will be going up on Patreon soon as your first Patreon exclusive uh, for the month of January. It will be like the talking version of a, of a video, like all the videos I took while I was there just to like share my trip in more detail with you guys. So if you're on Patreon, you can look forward to that. If you're not on Patreon, feel free to check it out. There's a link in the description in all my videos. So. You just have to be uh, at a tier where you receive at least one exclusive video per month uh, because it will be the first exclusive video in January. Patreon's like, um, it's like you can support the channel and you get little like fan rewards and gifts and things in exchange, you know? That's what it's all about. If you're not familiar, So each day I was there, I got to visit, I don't know, between three and ten people that I love. It was really special. We got to do a reunion towards the end of my time there. 
lots of the students came and we ate together, got on our photos together and did a slideshow and um, it's not easy to do because I didn't have many photos when I left there, it's a long story but most of us don't really have a lot of photos at that time so um, it was special to see the photos that we did have. And we took lots of photos and lots of photos and videos this trip so that when we get together in the future, God willing, we can share more memories that we made this trip or this time. I lived in a small village and um, it's very beautiful, palm trees and rice paddies. It was, oh gosh, I got to see, it was so interesting because when I lived there I never saw this, well once, but it wasn't regular, it was one time. And I was there for on and off for a period of five years, so it's kind of a new thing, uh, but monkeys have really come back to this village apparently a long while back they were there and they've come back according to my students. Um, but there are so many monkeys and it was really fun to see them and I took videos for you guys. Um, I'll be showing you those in, in an upcoming video. But yeah, only once in the five years that I was uh, on and off living there did I see monkeys and the time that I saw them they were felt more like apes. They were really, really big. And they were on the walls of the school campus and we had to um, uh, take care that they didn't take any of the small children. So we had some people with the task of getting the monkeys to leave and others with the task of just carrying the small children so they wouldn't be taken by the monkeys. The monkeys I saw this time, like some of them were quite big, but not like the ones that I had seen years back. And again, it was a one time thing. So, most of the monkeys I saw this time, I don't think they would be big enough to take the smaller children, but um, in the same way they had been huge <laughs> in the past and good, but it was still fun to see them and they were. They were still quite large, jumping through the trees, like legit jumping through trees. It was amazing. And I, I caught footage for you guys, so... I'm really excited for you to see it. I showed I showed a bit of it um, in the tour of the village video. If you saw that one, you, you got to see a bit of the monkeys jumping around. But I'm going to show more extended versions both here on the channel and on Patreon so. yeah. I did several video calls each day with other students that were in different parts of India that couldn't make it to the south or living abroad now. So I felt I got to connect with all of my students. It was really unbelievable. Um, I'm not a teacher by like training type of thing. Like I don't have a, a teacher's, what's it called? A teaching de degree in teaching. But um, I used to teach dance professionally. And so when I first went to India, it was to teach dance professionally. So I taught dance to the students at the school and um, I was asked to teach other subjects then. And yeah, so uh, some of you were like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you were a teacher. Well, um, you know, it, I am in the sense of uh, being a dance instructor, dance teacher. Um, I did that for a living for many years, including my time in India. 
but um, I did end up teaching in the classes like English and I got to teach Bible and then all the dance classes so over the time I lived there I did get a lot of training and teaching just from doing it in terms of classroom teaching but yeah lots of experience in dance teaching so the, in fact the reason I was asked to go in the first place was uh, person who started this school is from that village but lives in the US now is married to an American who's a dancer and um, she would go overseas with her husband and she started teaching dance there but she's a ballerina and she felt like Indian culture like that's it, uh, the, the kids really wanted to do something more like hip hop that kind of resembled more of like Punjabi dancing if you know what that is uh, so that's kind of more my specialty and so she asked me to come and teach one summer I ended up going multiple summers in a row for long periods of time getting to know the kids and then I moved there for two school years so that's how that all started. And it had been many years since I saw the kids, so it was fun to see them, really meaningful. They enjoyed all the gifts that I gave them. That I did videos showing you guys all the gifts that I was bringing for them. And, um, and I'll show you the gifts that they gave to me. And, I'll tap on those for you. The famous dress of India that women wear is called a sari. And to me it's the most beautiful dress in the world. I, I just think it's the most incredibly beautiful style of dress. It's the way you put it on is extremely detailed, intricate. It's just amazing. So I'll do a video showing you some saris and explaining kind of how they get put on and stuff, stuff like that. So I'm excited for a few more videos about India um, in the next few weeks, but also getting back to some just um, not normal videos, but yeah, so <laughs> not in India videos. Um, so looking forward to that. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed your beloved table and look forward to seeing you in the next videos.